Yes, good day, X Yards friends. We're here uh, just north of Copenhagen and uh, we've got Caroline, uh, actually a first timer on board of an X Yard. She has a boat herself, but this is the first time that she's on board of an X Yard. And we want to learn her a couple of tricks. And the same tricks you can adapt for yourself as well in the near future when you're sailing on your boat. So now we want to drop the code zero and, and the sail is, is relatively big and heavy. And what is now really easy, if you look here underneath here, we actually have what we call the laser sheet, we have it on the winch. Because as soon as we start easing the halyard off, the sail will actually fall to leeward. But now with this sheet, we can actually pull the sail back and have control over the sail. So, so this is a tiny little trick what makes your life way easier in real life. And what we have to remember as well, that we cleat the furling line yeah. up to the cleat so that it doesn't start unfurl. So let's, uh, let's do it, let's set up for a drop. So it's, it's actually a one man job. So like I'm having the heliot now and I'm having the laser sheet. So what I do, I start easing the heliot off. I keep a little tension on this one. Look, look what is happening now to the sail. It rotates. Now I ease the heliot more and now it's on the right side of the... And you can easily drop it. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna first unfurl the jib and then I'm slowly lowering the, the Code Zero by myself. Again, we're using the weather winch. Okay, stand by for an unfurl. Unfurling. You see, I start pulling the weather sheet, I ease the halyard, and now it falls straight away on the right side of the jib. And if you wouldn't have done that, the whole sail would have been behind the jib and it would have been a nightmare to get it on the deck. So now, yes, we can go forward and collect actually the sail. Again, nice and easy, and you keep looking what the person on the foredeck is, is doing. You see he's dropping it straight away in the sail locker. So now, yes, but disconnected the Heliot. Yeah. And of course, especially if you are cruising, you can just put it forward, but just make sure that you already put it forward without twisting. Because now it's nighttime and you want to connect the sail again. Of course, it's easy when you, when you don't have to untwist and they're standing with torches in the middle of the night. So the way how you take it off is the way how you put it forward. <laughs> 